here at home. America's Thanksgiving Parade, less than 24 hours away. Whether you come downtown or watch from home, it is a holiday tradition we have enjoyed for decades. There is so much to see every single year. Our Paula Tutman has pretty much become a parade expert. She is here to tell us about the four <laughs> things that we might miss if we don't pay very close attention. That's right, Karen. So first of all, I want you to think of Woodward Avenue between the DIA and the Detroit Historical Museum, and this is ground zero for fun. So you can see this is the staging area, and there's a lot that has to be done before the big show tomorrow. So right here we have staffers. I guess you could call them fix-it teams. And what they're going through is they're doing the last-minute fixes, paintings, things that need to be done before the big show tomorrow. And of course, of course, the big show tomorrow, you got to know what to look for. All right, driver, go forward a bit more. Back up. Straight back, slowly, two, very slow. Right there, neutral. And just like that, 26 floats, 75 individual pieces are on the move from their home at the parade company on Detroit's east side for the trek to the pre-parade overnight staging grounds in Midtown. Can I get this guy lined up? Yeah, go ahead and line him up. This is a well-oiled machine and the staffers and volunteers alike employ skill, teamwork, and sometimes sheer nerve. Right there, stop. We're going to have to move this by hand. To move these behemoths, some more than 130 feet long. Pull that thing forward. Tomorrow as you're watching the parade from the route or from the second best seat in the house, which is your home. You know, there are so many things to look for in the parade. Yep. I'm going to give you a few. Watch for the Lear float. Its theme is distracted driving. From juggling food items to shaving, you can actually count how many things you may be doing and should probably stop while engaged behind the wheel of a vehicle. Look at all the things that you might have done when you've driven your car. No kidding. There's also a new big head in the big head core, Ernie Harwell. Got to look for Ernie in the parade with the big heads. He looks great. Art Van's float has paid close attention to detail with dinosaurs, from pterodactyls to stegosauruses, and everything in between. More than eye candy, it's a game. Can you count the more than 20 different kinds of dinosaurs with your kids? Here's a hint. Start your research tonight. They're 25, 24, 23 feet in the air. They go on for 130 feet, this float. All massive dinosaurs. And finally, with SVS Vision, tour the entire state of Michigan in about 100 feet with a moving zip liner who actually moves between Michigan's great landmarks. Goes from Mackinac, you can see, this is the, the, the light tower right here. And then it goes across the Sleeping Bear Dunes. It goes across the Detroit Zoo, Belle Isle, uh, all across Detroit. Okay, so listen, I want to show you something really cool that's happening right now. Because if you come down with your family tonight, you actually get to see these folks working. And these lucky folks, because they ran into the head painter at the right moment, were actually allowed on the float to take pictures. So if you come down, put your kids on the people mover, go to a restaurant, it is a great time to actually see the parade before the parade and see how they get this stuff done. And you might get lucky like these guys. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool, Karen. That is a very important bit of advice. You are right. I've done that with my family and it is really special if you can get down there and get up close and personal. Great idea. Thank you, Paula, and happy early Thanksgiving.